from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. A tiny mite that destroys the life cycle of honeybees is devastating the nation's beekeepers. Up to 50% of the colonies have died in recent months. The varroa mite is a big problem for commercial beekeepers. It has been for the probably the past 14, 15 years, and we've had chemicals that we could use to control it. Um, the first one was effective for about seven, eight years, and then the, when that didn't work very well, another one came on the market that was available that worked for four, five years. In this past fall, it's, a lot of beekeepers were noticing that it was no longer working as good. In fact, no chemical controls are effective. Some of them are still trying to use the, the registered products that are on the market, but the mite has become so resistant to those that they basically don't accomplish much anymore. In some cases, the varroa mites simply overwhelm the colonies by sucking the blood of adult bees. They also spread diseases that eventually kill them. Up at the top, we see the varroa mite itself. It's actually much smaller than that, as you can see on this pupa where this family of mites is living. And the damage that they cause that we're worried about, you can see down here where this is a bee which has not had any mite activity on it. And these two individuals with their shrunken wings, their reduced size abdomen and whatnot, these are the individuals that have been fed on by the mites. The immediate future for bees does not look good. However, scientists are continuing to look for both biological and chemical control agents that will work against this mite. Reporting from UC Davis, I'm Paul Fotenauer. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.